Hi everyone. First of all, a big thank to everybody who participated in my .NET MAUI book giveaway. It was amazing to see so many people interested in mastering the platform and sharing the applications they're working on or planning to build. As I mentioned in my LinkedIn post, there will be three winners. But if you're interested in learning .NET MAUI, there is a bonus. In this video, we'll build an application to randomly pick the giveaway winners. Along the way, we will use MVVM, Dependency Injection, and Material Design 3 for the user interface. The best part? It will only take a few minutes. We'll use DevExpress components to speed up the development process. Since DevExpress offers project templates, we'll take advantage of them uh, to get started quickly. So let's name the new project Maui Book Giveaway. And then we'll select .NET Maui. Here we can choose from three types of navigation. Let's choose Playout. And then we can choose Modules, but actually we just need MVVM. After that, we can select from multiple pre-designed views, like detail forms, editing forms, charts, collection views, schedulers. And actually we don't need any of them for this particular project, but let's select collection view just to see how it's injected into the navigation system. The generated solution contains views and view models for the selected views and modules and separate projects for data and infrastructure layers. Let's run the generated project to see how it looks like at runtime. Here you can see the page for the MVVM module and uh, that's the additional view we selected during the third step. This is our view model for the MVVM module which uses dependency injection to retrieve data service registered in our MAUI program class. Let's modify the data service to retrieve uh, uh, the LinkedIn participants instead of sample data. So let's create a new list of customers. The default name of the class is customer. I want to change it. And uh, after that, let's just copy and paste the list of the participants from the LinkedIn comments. If we run the project, we will see that the collection contains new data. However, it's not displayed properly. So we will need to navigate to the MVM page and adjust the collection views item template. Uh, let's remove the default one and use the toolbox from DevExpress because I don't want to create a new item to play from scratch. Uh, there are building blocks here and we'll need just to drag and drop uh, a new item to play it directly into XAML. I'll update the bindings to match the properties in the customer class, which are first name and last name. We can also remove the third label. You can notice that the Preview is automatically updated because of hot reload. We can also remove the third column because we got rid of the third label and replace frame with DX border. Our view is almost ready. It probably displays all the participants of the giveaway, but we still need to pick three winners. To do that, let's add a button from the DevExpress toolbox. There are multiple material design button types available here. Mm, let's add the extended floating button. As you can see in the emulator, the button is centered because of its horizontal and vertical alignment options we need to set both to end. The button is also green because of its theme seed color property. Let's remove it so that the button matches the application theme color. Next, I'll fix the button icon. It's not showing at the moment because the specified icon doesn't exist on the project. However, DevExpress project templates include a set of icons, so I'll use one of those instead. The final step is to create a command in the view model and bind the button to it. So let's open the view model file and create a command. To have the community toolkit automatically generate the command from the method, Let's apply the relay command attribute to it. Then we'll go to the view and bind our button to the generated command. So 
So let's just create the binding here. I also want to show pop-up when a winner is selected, so I'll use the DevExpress pop-up service. It's automatically injected into the constructor by dependency injection, so we just need to add a corresponding parameter to the constructor. After that, to show a pop-up, I'll simply call the showAlert method, pass parameters to adjust text for its obtained okay, cancel buttons. Let's just leave it okay and cancel. After that, I'll set settings for the title. Title icon. Let's just leave it as an empty string for now. And a message. Let's say congratulations. Yeah, it's fine. I'll create a random object to generate a number. The random number will be our jury selecting the winner. So I'll use it to pick a customer from the customer's collection. Random next from zero to the length of the collection. Uh, let's slightly adjust the message to include the name of the winner to the message. Let's say the winner is winner first name and winner last name. Yeah, looks good. More exclamation points. Yeah. Now let's uh, let's choose an icon. There is a star icon here, so I'll use it. And we're almost done. The pop-up service, I think. Yeah, I forgot to save it to a field. Yeah, we need to save it. Uh, now we can rerun the project. Let's adjust a couple of things at the view level. Change the text here and the title. Giveaway. And we are done. Yeah, everything is finally done. And here is the exciting moment. Our random judge will select the first winner of the print copy. And the winner is... Sis Alberts, Sis, I hope you like reading paper books and this is what you wanted, or at least it will serve you as a trophy. We also have two ebooks in this giveaway, and the first one goes to Sebastian Colling. Congratulations, Sebastian. Knowledge is power. We all know that, and when we remember that, we get stronger. And let's now who will get the last book. It's Nick Potteri. Nick, I'm happy. I hope you're also happy. And I hope you will learn something new from this book. Congratulations. And that's it for today. This is the first video of this channel. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button. Oh, I'm still figuring out those fancy video effects. More videos are coming soon on building desktop and mobile UIs artificial intelligence, accessibility, and architecture. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.